today we live in a society where it seems like everything is on demand. Mm -hmm. So if we want to communicate, it's instant. We want to download something, it's instant. But you know, things that take more time to build, like human relationships and trust, mm -hmm. they are not something that we can facilitate with technology. Like real learning involves understanding, which involves contemplating you know, and that's not like an instant process you know there's things that take time I think it's very important for us to realize like happiness for example is something that we feel about gadgets and but it's momentary you know it's more like hedonism you know, it's a like quick fix which is not bad but real happiness has nothing to do with technology and we certainly can't find it by going out and looking for it you know. The opportunities for food service is first uh, to think about this in a sort of holistic and circular way. Uh, we, in other words, is to say that we're going to look at food at more than just something that we have to do. Right? Something that has to make sense, that has a holistic business model, that actually gives back the circular economy. Something that is a larger sense of just than just consuming. I think that's an opportunity, but also a challenge. There's two major threats in society today. Uh, one is uh, climate change and CO2, pollution, burning planet, big topic. And that's going to be a lot of change for companies like mandatory legislation, uh, regulation of, say, cruise ships, right? meat production, um, cars in cities. All those things will happen in the next couple of years. And that's both good and bad, but it will also create new opportunities. The second real challenge is uh, digital pollution, right? which essentially is the same thing, but is issues of having too much technology. So surveillance, data tracking, loss of privacy, application, people forgetting to do things because they use machines, and this whole convergence of humans and machines, like automation, that's a real challenge for jobs. So I would say those are the two major challenges for our future. The stuff we can deal with, but we have to really have foresight. You know, We have to understand where things are going. This is why I keep saying that having foresight is the most important part of business now. On the balance between humans and machines, um, I think there is a trend towards using technology to uh, dehumanize things because they're more efficient and faster. And sometimes that's, that it's okay because we don't really need humans, like Google Maps is dehumanizing in some ways, but we use it in a certain context. And then there's another trend to rehumanize. You know? So some technology really helps us to be human, like communication technology that we can connect. Right? But sometimes when we take too much of it, like social media or online video or posting, right, then we disconnect from what used to connect us. I think we're going to pay more in the future to have more privacy and to speak to more humans is going to be more expensive than to go completely with the machines and have it be less expensive. So restaurants self-serve with an app, no waiters. Just the cooks maybe in the back, but it coming out automatically will be vastly cheaper right, because they have less personnel. But a lot of people will go prefer to go to a nice place that has a sommelier. You know? And that's also a fragmentation. So I don't think it's really, it's a challenge, but it's not necessarily bad news. You know? In fact, I think if you position yourself correctly, uh, then you should find a good market.